this my friend is a dinosaur sized toaster i'm like look at the size of this thing it's huge now why would why would you get a toaster like this this huge well if you're a snob bread snob yeah uh, then you know what i'm talking about when it comes to getting those nice long baguettes or those loaf of bread that from unknown hidden bakery that in your city or in your town that you see yeah and uh, yeah you don't want to kind of cut them in a disgusting way just uh, you want to cut them in a nice long way and just put it in there but i didn't get only because you could shove those fancy bread in there it's also because it toasted toast pretty perfectly around the edge and evenly so that's that now when it comes to cleaning this is my main problem about toasters every single toasters out there look at the mess i left this in purpose okay i'm i'm not this dirty i guess but so anyways it is a mess all toasters out there i hate this thing about toasters the mess to clean i gotta clean this mess here all these crumbs and i used to play, live in a very horrible place uh, and there were roaches and all that this toasters are heaven for roaches and bugs and mice if you have mice now you could clean up you could pull out the tray you could do it that way but come on look inside you just gonna clean that and look at the top of the edge like the crumbs gets in there and other toasters you can shake the hell out of it when you put it upside down but this is so closed up you can't clean inside properly yes it's uh, you could put it upside down as well and shake it but it's just so big and heavy uh you gotta do it more carefully than usual i gotta warn you about this thing you see this gray plastic thing here it's just holding just by a little bit don't go ahead and flap this around and bang it everywhere and shake it off those those crumbs over there you gotta scrub it gently uh, or that plastic thing is gonna break off from the metal uh and uh, one thing you gotta know when i'm trying to like shove this in i noticed there's like a gigantic piece of burnt toast in there it just fell in there and just stuck it's stuck i've been trying to figure out how to get it at the bottom you can see is the the whole the line is so tiny you can get it there i'm gonna shake the hell out of it i'm gonna get off the camera shake it and you'll see it took a while to take that thing out you can see over here it's a freaking gigantic piece of toast i don't know how it got there so it's uh yeah it's quite a lot of mess uh, that's how much i could take out it took a while to shake that goddamn thing out uh, it was not coming off it was quite stubborn and it was quite heavy i was holding with one hand and i had to take uh something to poke it out it's still quite messy in there there's a whole bunch of crumbs in there and uh, it's you cannot get it from the bottom you'll see at the bottom it's like really closed up it's uh, you, if you want to open open up and clean it with soap and water go ahead do it um i'm not sure i want to risk that so yep yeah, i'll keep it that way now this kind of plugs with holes are quite rare and but i love it it makes life slightly easy you just put your finger in there and just pull it out you know and uh, yeah just slightly easy uh yeah but uh don't try anything funny guys you know it's you're gonna regret it uh getting stuck big time all right don't ask me how i know yes i could talk about the features and all that uh yeah like all the other videos you know but i want to get to the point and i really think those things are necessary in toasters yeah there's the option to play peekaboo with the toasters and uh yeah then oh i do have to say do not put the number of the toaster more than four or maybe even three because you're gonna get a toast from hell a lot of you probably left after seeing that price come on i'm like well if you're left then who is here well whoever is here just look at the goddamn price who in a right mind would buy a toaster for that price uh, well i uh, i did i i guess i'm crazy bread snob toaster guy uh, i don't know well come on look for that price if it's out of your budget don't buy it man like just get a 20 dollar toaster from walmart it would work just fine it will toast your bread you know you don't need a perfect toast edge anyway so whoever is crazy to stay and watch this video and still want to buy this and here's the dimensions you get if you want to measure your counter 
uh, because it's uh, pretty big and uh, and you can see down there it says alcohol free alcohol free um I, I don't get it does this has to do something with toaster usually I, I'm not sure why it says alcohol free maybe someone did that as a joke but anyways uh, give a like to this video by putting that thumb right up wherever you like and uh, don't subscribe please I don't want subscribers I don't know who one person subscribed to me I don't know who is that person just don't subscribe all right bye have a good day oh sorry by the way I forgot to mention when the toast is done and if the bread is too skinny like too short it will not pop out do not play around you will burn your finger I don't know that is the worst flaw of this toaster I don't know why they didn't put those uh, thing like you could just kind of push it out with the with from the edge uh, holder and just pops out more and but this one doesn't it has nothing if the toaster if the toast is short it's short you gotta use uh, some kind of rubber thong and just take it out uh, or if you're brave yeah use your finger but you know you won't like that and uh, yeah the one last thing was uh, uh, around uh, 2018 uh, there was some kind of flaws like some kind of defect but now it's pretty good uh, there was bad reviews about that now uh, after 2019 things are fine all right bye guys have a good day